Let's now take you to Kwara State, where the governor, Abdurrahman Abdul Razak, says his administration is committed to making massive investment in the education sector of the state by effectively and judiciously managing the Universal Basic Education Commission, Commission UBEC and Kwara State's Universal Basic Education Board, SUBEB, fund in the last few years by paying the eight-year counterpart funding within the first four-year tenure of his administration. Abu Razak gave the revelation while addressing top government functionaries at the 2024 budget policy direction hangouts in Ilori, the state capital, a move to guide government ministries, departments and agencies organized by the State Ministry of Planning and Economic Development. Education will have to make major investments. You can see seriousness in education, especially the manner we've managed the uh, UPEC and super funds. Um, we've paid to get eight years of super funding in four years. So that's a lot of investment in that sector. We have challenges, we have to review how we manage our colleges of education. One college of education has less than 100 lecturers and 600 non-teaching, non-academic staff. How do we manage those issues? So we need to change focus. We need to get federal government to take over one of our institutions, one of the three colleges of education. We need to turn one. Um, we need to turn one into university of education so that we get much more enrollment um, in that. So our policy will go towards investment in education, which is extremely important. Tak, who is also the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum (NGF), however, expressed his administration's readiness to make huge investment in the health sector to complement the existing primary, secondary, and tertiary health care in the state. Um, in health care, we have to do much more investments, a lot of investments. As you know, the bulk of health care, primary health care, is with um, the local government. And with local government, all the income goes to salary. So we, state government has to step in to make sure we, we renovate the um, building and make sure we support the primary health care sector. Uh, we work towards primary health care under one roof. We know the challenges there. Um, the bulk of the workers are under the local government service commission. Some states have achieved it, so we'll try and achieve it to make sure um, primary health care becomes seamless. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.